Hello, this is the Trade Tech U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for the week. We get Monday, the 15th of April, ending Friday, the 19th of April, 2019. So let's talk about this. Monday, the 15th is tax day. It's often a reversal point in the markets. We've seen it many times over the years. Friday, the 19th is Good Friday. The markets are closed ahead of Easter. So it's a four-day short week, which means, of course, Thursday might be late. But keep in mind, we do have options expiration this week. So uh, Easter lands on options expiration weekend, which means options are technically going to expire on Thursday. Does that mean things are going to carry forward? Are we going to see the options and rallying move on Wednesday? Sometimes, usually we see it Wednesday or Thursday. Will it be Tuesday? We're going to have to look for it after the first hour's play every day this week. Here's a look at the ES from a futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market futures form, obviously up for the first quarter of the year, but not back to highs yet. Let's go through the major daily charts. Then we'll look at the intraday action from there. Crude oil up 18 cents. This has also been up for the quarter to 63.76. Gold up 20 cents to 12.93. S&P cash index gains 19.04. Again, that's the same. Not at new highs yet or anything like that. But NDX, the NASDAQ 100 up 33.26. Again, not quite at new highs. They set back in September before we got that trend reading and everything else that gave us an indication that the market was going to drop. Sox is at new highs, up 21.05. Biotech's down 27.03. This thing's nowhere near new highs. Russell's up five points and change. Doesn't really matter. The VIX, uh, this is at the lowest close. This is what sucks. Uh, and remember, last year we had these bad VIX numbers from June through September, but I feel like the trading right now is worse. There's just nothing going on. Uh, but the VIX at 12.01 down a buck one. That's the lowest close on the VIX since the beginning of October. So that's horrible. Trend closes at 1.06. That puts the 10 day at 1.11. NASDAQ volume only 1.9 billion shares. So again, look at this. Lightest volume week of the year so far by far. I mean, we got five days in a row that are under almost every day except for a random two days. I mean, it's just horrible. Like, the volume is just not there. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ plus 4.399. So a few more stocks up than down on the New York plus 797. Uh, Google gains $13.14. Nice formation there. And it's got a clear uptrend line. Apple down literally $0.08, cents, which is no big deal. It's a blip. And it's also untradeable, as it was most of the day. NASDAQ, Netflix down 16.51. Amazon up down 1.01. Tesla down 72 cents. These are all hovering near the lows. Facebook up a buck 59, trying to come back. Goldman TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, down 88 cents, and Goldman up a $5 and a penny, but that was a gap. All right, in terms of intraday action, let's take a look. So, this is the problem. This is what we saw this week. I'm going to show you first. Here's Friday. We gapped up, tried to go higher, couldn't, tried to go lower. Uh, made a little progress real quick for five minutes there, then came back. By lunchtime, we're hanging out where we opened. By the close, we're hanging out where we opened. So let's switch this to 10-minute candles and look at the whole week. And here's the problem. Monday, you gapped down a little bit. You went lower, but came back, closed slightly positive. So there was a little bit of action Monday. But Tuesday, you gapped down. You went lower. You closed inside that first five-minute candle. Wednesday, you gap up a little bit, basically filled the gap, barely closed above that. Thursday, a small gap up. Tried to go lower, closed even for the day. Friday's your gap up and close flat. So the only day where you really made any progress was Monday after gapping down, you closed positive. I mean, it's just really, this is just horrible trading environment, as bad as it gets. If you're trying to make money in this, it's going to be choppy. Um, so don't, don't lose your mind. Be smart. Don't overtrade. Let's wait for something better to come out of all this. All right, in terms of economic data coming out this week, because it's important when we have... Options expiration and Friday is a holiday. So Friday is the Good Friday holiday. Options expiration is supposed to be Friday, so it's going to be Thursday. Usually options and rally would be Wednesday. could be Thursday. Now it might be Tuesday because everything closes a day early. Here's a look at the data. Existing home sales 30 minutes into the market on Monday. Housing price index at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. New home sales and Richmond manufacturing index 30 minutes later. Crude oil inventory is an hour into the market on Wednesday. Durable goods, an hour before the bell, along with initial and continuing jobless claims on Thursday. Natty gas, an hour in on Thursday. Advanced GDP on Friday. Remember, the market's closed in a revised University of Michigan sentiment. So then we're, so we're closed Friday, and then we've got the Easter holiday. And then most of the rest of the world is closed Monday, even though we are not. That is a lot of information over very little at all. I, would, I don't know what to expect from this week. You'd love to think there's an options unraveling move to be had. But it doesn't really seem like options have been driving anything, and it's not a triple expiration. Uh, obviously, we've got uh, 
you know, the holiday ahead and everything else. I don't know. It, it could be very dull again, which is disappointing because it has certainly been dull of late, and there's nothing else to say about that. Uh, picks will go up. Everything's loaded. Let's just see what we can get and do what we can. Don't be greedy. Try to make sure you're being picky. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading. Ooh.